Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back, RGG, Right Gas Garage. So, this is what I've been working on uh, all this time. Uh, working on the tilt front, so I got all the fabrication done on the framework. I got it all somewhat welded up, and I got the grill back on. Let's check it out. Real easy. It stops on its own. I don't have to use any cables, any bolts. So that's cool. And yeah, it closes nice. I cut the bottom of the feathers off. So I have to mount that back on. But we're real nice. Just like that. So what's next? Let me take you guys. Let's go for a ride. Alright. So next on the list after this, we're gonna put the bottom half back on. And uh, we gotta work on getting the rear end back underneath uh well i should say over the springs because look at that this is a huge gap it's about five inches i think you know so too much too much street freak i'm thinking it'll work we'll bring it back down get the springs back underneath and that might be a plus because uh the perch is already there I wouldn't have to weld anything. Hopefully, uh, when they uh, had done the uh, purchase, they kind of, I see some writing on the on the, on the the center sections, uh, some degrees, uh, looks like four degrees up or something like that. That's pretty close. I mean, it's supposed to be about two degrees, but we'll see what happens. But I'm thinking after I move it, we should be pretty close to the tire. Hopefully, we got some room here. And there, but yeah, loving it. Uh, let's see what else. So, uh, we'll just keep plugging away slowly but surely. We'll fill up that board, we'll get that board written up and uh, take care of that. Um, I'm ordering a uh, straight axle, heavy duty, thick walled from Speedway because as it turns out. Uh, cutting this front end is going to take about as much as or maybe even more to to narrow it at the weld shop so yeah I figured might as well just go ahead and buy a new one and get that all squared away instead of having to do that I mean I like the look of the drop axle but I, I you know I still want my lift I still want the height so uh, it was a good idea you know we got that pretty cheap so that's okay we'll sell it on marketplace and hopefully uh, I'm gonna use I'm gonna reuse the kingpin um, actually and, and actually the uh, I'm gonna use the drum brakes because inside of those drum brakes all brand new they put brand new brakes on your front and back so yeah so next on the list is I'm gonna roll this thing up well, I'm gonna take this whole front clip off Roll this out in the yard and power wash this whole front section nice and clean. And we'll start dismantling this front end and get ready for the straight axle swap. So yeah, that's about it for now. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, uh, thank you very much for all my new, new subscribers. Man, you guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, yeah, this is a 1952 Styline Deluxe four door. It was a tail dragger at one point. Um, kind of gave up on it, and uh, we're making it a gasser. I'm going. I'm thinking. I'm going blown big block. We're gonna go blown this time. We or maybe I go back to the ton of ram. We'll see what happens. You know, see what comes along. Anyway, anyway, guys, thank you for stopping by again. And thank you again to the new subscribers. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Aloha.